Hi, I'm Ariel Cohn with the Flat Hat here with Senior Donish Galani for That Guy. So, Donish, what have you been up to recently? Um, just senior year, last couple weeks, I've just been kind of trying to make the most of it, hanging out with as many people as I can. Um, I feel like my priorities have kind of shifted this past couple of weeks. Um, and funny story, on Monday, I was playing I Am Soccer, having fun, and I got elbowed in the, in the eye. And like, I didn't know that you could do that. It's like a pretty big cut. I didn't know you could do that with an elbow. So, been at the health center quite a lot this week. Wow. And so, it's so, exciting stuff. So besides I Am Soccer, what other kind of stuff are you involved in on campus? So, so I play club soccer. Uh, I'm involved with a lot of cultural organizations. So the South Asian Student Association, the Muslim Student Association, the Filipino Student Organization, no association. Filipino American Student Association, <laughs> sorry. Um, and just like other sorts of stuff. I work in SWAM at the Media Center in the basement. Um, and just like random stuff. That's cool. So you mentioned the medical center. I know yes. you've had some interesting times there during your years at the college. You want to tell us about that? Yeah. So, so funny story. Um, junior year, I was an orientation aide, um, and during during that time, it was actually the month of the holy month of Ramadan, which is a Muslim tradition where you uh, fast for thirty days uh, from sunrise to sundown. Um, so, so I was I was fasting all day. That's no water, no food. I was uh, doing orientation, orientation stuff, which I don't know if you guys know, but is very, very taxing. Um, and so towards the end of it, I just started getting really sick and like high fevers. And I just thought that it was because I was fasting and um, doing a lot of stuff. So I stopped fasting for a couple of days and it just got worse. Uh, went to the health center, went to MedExpress. They, they had no idea. They told me random stuff. One time they told me I had a blood problem and then sometime they said, I might have pneumonia or something like ridiculous yeah. um, and then one night it was like 2 a.m. and like I was hallucinating like really crazy stuff um, I thought that I was the OA from my bed it was really funny I was having dreams that like my bed was my orientation group um, so I woke up and called my grandparents and they live in northern Virginia um, so they were like we're coming down so I went to Centera um, they didn't know what happened and then I went to Georgetown Hospital and it turns out I had malaria oh, wow. for a week and I didn't even know that's crazy. So it was, it was pretty crazy, crazy times. That's cool. So you are originally from Pakistan, yeah. right? So can yeah. you tell us how you first came to the college? Yeah. Um, so so my elder brother came to William & Mary. My mom is from Virginia. She's American. So so I always kind of knew that I was going to Virginia just because I have family here. Um, so I applied to a bunch of places in Virginia and ended up here. Cause I, and like my brother came here. I really like this college the most. So. So it works out. And how has your experience been here as an international student? Fantastic. Um, I, I spoke the other day um, at Admitted Students Day oh, cool. um, about exactly that, and about and and I think what I enjoy the most about William and Mary is like the the community aspect and, and the inclusivity of, of William and Mary students. And I like the first couple of weeks of school was kind of it was awkward. It was weird. I have some embarrassing stories. You want um, to elaborate? No. Um, but but. But I feel like just like the community aspect of it, the cultural organization aspect of it, kind of made me feel at home, and and like I honestly feel like this is home now. So That's great. Cool. So yeah. looking back on your four years, do you have any advice you'd like to give underclassmen, or any things you wish you would have known coming into the college? I mean, I, I mean, it might sound cliche, but I would say take advantage of all the opportunities. Like I'm sitting here with two more weeks um, left of school, and I look back at so many things that I could have done and and shouldn't have done. You know, so just like take advantage of everything. I feel like as you come in, get a part of everything, become a, do stuff that you're interested in. As the years go by, you kind of figure out what you like the most and you get more into that. Um, and then by senior year, I feel like you're, you're kind of defined as one person through something, you know? So, and that's what I enjoy the most. Get to know everyone, do as much as you can, and, and you'll never regret it then. That's great. And so do you have any plans after your time here at the college? Yeah, so I, I accepted at IBM in D.C., so I'll be doing consulting with them, uh, federal consulting up in D.C. Thank you so much, Dash. We really appreciate it. And if you have anybody you'd like to see on that guy, email Flathat online.